Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I'm super excited you're here. This is Crafting with a Cocktail, where we like to make crafts and cocktails. I'm super excited to show you what we made today. We made three gorgeous Valentine's Day floral arrangements, or just floral arrangements that celebrate love. So if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get started. Cheers! Our first arrangement is pretty traditional. They're just in cute little pots or buckets, whatever you find. This ends up being a candle holder and a little tiny bucket, both from Dollar Tree. So I start by cutting out a bunch of hearts from different cute uh, scrapbook paper that I had on hand. I don't end up using all the hearts, but that's okay. So anyways, just fold them in half and cut it into a heart like we always did, like in elementary school and everything. If you don't know how to do it, honestly, just fold it in half and make a sharp end and a curved top and anyways so i cut these out to make little accents in my um, floral arrangements i have made these floral arrangements when i worked at a domestic violence shelter and i would do it as a family activity with the mothers or parents with the children and they loved it we called them love gardens and they absolutely adored it and the parents absolutely loved it for valentine's day once those are cut out, all I am doing is using some regular old Elmer's glue and gluing small hearts to big hearts. I did play around and kind of figured out which ones look good together. Of course, since I picked all patterns and colors that I thought would look good together, period, they pretty much all go well together. I don't end up using all of them, so I just glue um, all of them to whatever looks great in that moment. But again, don't take it too hard because if they don't all go together or if you don't use them all, it's really no big deal. Then I use some wooden skewers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm using an animal nail clippers, which I got this tip from um, Home and Crafts by Home and DIY Crafts? I don't know. DIY by Jazz. She's a big YouTuber. But I got this tip from her, which she got from a subscriber. And I noticed that Sammy from Unicorn Dress Designs also started doing this. And it really works well. Like, it genuinely snaps that skewer in half immediately. So it works genuinely well. Here I am sipping my two margaritas. You'll find out why I have two in a minute. And then I just used my hot glue. I finally hopped on the bandwagon and used Gorilla Hot Glue which hopefully works better than regular hot glue um, and just glued it to the back. Of course, you could make these double-sided and use other scrapbook on the back, but uh, I liked it how it was, to be honest. Then I'm using green floral foam. It's important you use the green stuff because it's so much more malleable. It's so much easier to use. This is a giant block that was not pre-cut from Walmart that I had left over, so I'm just cutting it with my scissors. But if you get the pre-cut kind from Dollar Tree, it's so much easier. It's just that my local Dollar Trees both often are very sold out of these. So I bought one from Walmart, and this made it so much easier to just press together. Once that's done, I use my floral picks that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I picked out a bunch of, like, pink, white, red, fuchsia, and some lime green or light green ones to really complement the colors I was going for. And again, this one is just a little candle holder, so I have less floral picks, but I really absolutely love the way that it turned out. And honestly, I don't mind that it used less because sometimes less is more. So once you have those in there, all you wanna do is um, grab some or one, depending on your project, one of your floral, I'm sorry, heart picks to see what fits in well and what can go well with this project. Look how gorgeous she turned out. This was in my Dollar Tree haul. She's a pastel pink. She's gorgeous. Sippy sip time. And then we move on to our white bucket. The reason that I did two floral gardens or love gardens, as I like to call them around Valentine's Day, is I just want to give you variety. You can also make these with like the three packs of pots, plastic pots that they come in with the Dollar Tree. That's what I used to make with my kids that I used to work with in the domestic violence shelter and they absolutely loved it. They would add stickers and ribbon and all sorts of fun stuff. So the options are honestly limitless, endless. It's really cute. I just happened to pick two different designs for this just for you guys to see or to show you that it's capable of being really any sort of base. It could be a flower pot, a bucket, a candle holder, whatever you think is cute. Okay guys, admittedly, I 
can't find my wire cutters. Honestly, I think that the wire cutters, the only wire cutters I've ever owned, were ones that I bought for my last job, and so I left them there, rightfully so, because they technically owned them at that point. So anyways, Dollar Tree floral picks are super easy to cut. All you have to do is use a regular pair of scissors, snip, cut, scrape them a few times in one space, and all you do is bend them back and forth to make them snap in half. And so now I'm just arranging it everywhere and then figuring out which one of those heart out of scrapbook paper looks good. So here is how cute she looks. I ended up using two of those heart picks that I made earlier. And then I take some thick jute rope to wrap around my bucket and tie a little bow. I had a really difficult time when it was standing up. So I ended up laying it on its side and doing it that way. I just really felt like it needed an extra touch and this was the perfect thing to do. Because it kept sliding down, even after I stood it up, I ended up adding a little bit of hot glue in areas where it needed it. This is the final result, and I love it, and I'm genuinely impressed. I can't wait to share with you guys today's cocktail, because it is using a special ingredient from my best friend who bought me it. And let's cut to that real quick. This margarita incorporated in Boo's Spicy Margarita. So my best friend bought me this off Etsy. And it's a company, business, whatever, called in Boo's. And they just use genuine dry fruits, vegetables, citrus, whatever, to use it in their products. It's got all the directions on the back, how to use it, how long to use it, and everything else. Honestly, it was so helpful. I kind of forgot and screwed up and left over five days instead of three days, which is the suggested amount. So it was spicy, which I don't mind, but the citrus was a little bitter. So make sure you follow the directions and just leave it for three days, not five days like I did. So this is me um, filming this five days before I filmed the rest of my video. Then you can have options of a grapefruit soda, a lemon lime soda, so I picked squirt and Sprite, and then you just pour, it says an ounce and a half, makes eight to 10 drinks, but I like my drinks strong, so it only lasted me, I think, four or five drinks. Either way, it's fine, just make it as is, or however you like it to be. I used this little spoon in my wide mouth jar that kept it nice and cozy that my best friend got for me and just poured some into some margarita glasses to make it extra festive. You guys know that usually I just use wine glasses or regular glasses. But anyways, I poured squirt into one of them, topped it off, and then I used Sprite for the other one. And then, um, I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos, but you know that I'm not really a big fan of salt on the rim, so I just add a little squeeze of lime into each one of them, mix it up, and that's it. Here's how gorgeous they turned out, looking cute, looking cute, but let's find out how they taste. Now it's time for taste testing. Are we gonna like squirt better or Sprite? The package suggested Fresca, but I couldn't find it at my local grocery store or at Target, so we just said squirt. So this one is a little bit foggier, this is the squirt. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty strong. Sprite's really good too, actually. In fact, I might like the Sprite a little bit better. Oh, here comes the heat of the jalapeno in the back of my throat. Guys, when I squeezed out that like tea bag type of thing that had it in it, I washed my hands twice afterwards and then I itched my nose and my nose stung all night. I think, I think Sprite's the winner for me. What do you guys think? Let's get back into it. Second DOI involves some neutral colors, but of course a little bit of glitz and glam because that's just my style. I bought this three pack of funny looking vases from the Target dollar spot or whatever it's called. And this cost me $3, which honestly isn't bad. I did think about it at first, but truthfully it's not that bad because these would cost a dollar each, which is about how much it would cost at Dollar Tree anyways. I wanted to make these like sweet and neutral and romantic, but also easy going with any sort of decor year round. And honestly, these don't have to be Valentine's Day. So I started with just mixing some light pink with some pink and white. I used my Waverly white chalk paint to paint the first one, which ended up being the middle piece. I'm obsessed with the color pink, so I painted the biggest one light pink. So anyways, I painted the first one, which happened to be my middle sized piece. 
with Waverly White chalk paint, as you can see here. Then I wanted to make the second one a light or pastel pink or blush pink, whatever color you like. It's really hard to see on camera, but you'll see it in the pictures and in real life that it's a beautiful, gorgeous blush, light pink, pastel pink, whatever you want to call it. If you get worried about some fingerprints or whatever type of paint, just use a little bit of water and a paper towel immediately to get it off, or later if it's dried, you can just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Then for the third one, I wanted it to be kind of a beige color and I didn't have one available. So I mixed some of my Waverly Antique Wax, a little bit of white paint or Waverly White Chalk Paint, either way, and some of that pink paint to make the perfect color. Again, it's hard to see in this lighting just because it's so bright that it's slightly different, but this does end up being kind of a light tan khaki beige type of color, which is exactly what I was looking for. I end up doing two coats on each one of these little vases type of things just to make sure it's nice and coated well. Just make sure that they're completely dry when you do the second coat. Here you can see I'm working on the second coat of that beigeish khaki type of tan color. Again, I do them on all three of the vases and once you're done with that, again, let them dry a little bit and then just snip off some of the flowers and floral picks and try to make sure that they're coordinating colors. So for this palette, I picked whites, light pinks, yellows, and things like that. I love it. Hey guys, I'm just popping in to say I'm so thankful for all your support and all my new subscribers. I am absolutely amazed and I can't wait to see what comes next. If you're new here, don't forget, if you really like any of this, you like my cocktails, my personality, my DIYs, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below for some more fun content. Our third and final DIY is this beautiful heart wreath, door hanger, door decoration, wall decoration, whatever you want to call it. It's this tinsel heart that you get from Dollar Tree. I ripped off the love sign and I actually made these signs for all of the the offices of my coworkers at my old job and filled it completely up but at that time I felt like I had really good coordinating colors and this time it just I don't know it just felt right to only leave it on the edges so anyways to start it's really easy you don't even have to use your scissors or your wire cutter all you have to do is pop the heads off of your flowers to get ready for the gluing and arranging then all I do is take all of these different flowers. Again, if you overcut, it's really no big deal. Just throw some of those into a plastic bag, save them for later, and just start arranging where you want your flowers to go. Again, originally I kept thinking that I would fill this whole heart up, just like I had made in uh, previous projects, just in my personal time, but it just didn't work out that way. So just pick out flowers, flower picks that you like, and ones that you think will go together well. And that's what I'm doing here. Again, it took me a while to kind of figure out which ones will go together and which ones won't, and where I want to place them. Take your time with this. It really, this is a quick project, but you really need to be kind of detailed about what colors will go together, what kind of flowers you like, how you want it to look, where you want it placed. So just take some time to think about that as you go. As you can see here, I take my time going back and forth. I know it seems like the top part I've abandoned, but I really go back and forth between the bottom and the top part to figure out what flowers I want, where I want them, how do they look, how do the colors go together. So really, again, take your time with this process. I think it's one of those projects that is gorgeous and a little bit glam, but again, you really need to take your time to figure out what you like and what looks good in your home, in your house. I also had some little picks that had glitter hearts on them. I had red glitter hearts and pink glitter hearts. You can see some of the red ones that are kind of just sticking off screen, and I really debated for a long time putting them into here because they looked really good in the last wreaths or door hangings or whatever that I made for my coworkers a few years ago, but in this instance, it really just didn't make sense. So in the end, I don't end up using them, and I think that's okay. This ended up really cute and romantic, and to be honest, I feel like it's pretty mature. I know I like a little glitter, but I still think it's got a nice mature vibe to it. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching, and let me know which one was your favorite. Bye!